everyone, Mr. Merkid here, and today I've got part two on how to make a Skype bot in Java. And what I'm going to show you is how to connect to an API and just display the response of the API to the chat once a uh, specific command is triggered. Um, so what I'm going to do is create a new class which is going to house all of our command stuff, and I'll just call it commands. And what I'm going to do is create a function which is going to return something, just so we can call it from our user chat class. Uh, so what I'll call it is public. I'll make it static so we can use it. String uh, called get API, and then we'll give it the API from our other class. Uh, so we'll say string API uh, like that. And then what's this error here? Oh, so we, yeah because we need to return it, but we'll do that last. Um, so what we want to do is use a buffered reader to read the response of our URL, but first of all, we'll create the URL. Um, and because I've done this before, I sort of know how to do it, because if you just code it usually, it tells you to like put it in a try catch or whatever. So we'll first of all, we'll say URL, URL is equal to null. And then what we're going to say is URL is equal to a new URL and the actual URL is going to be our API that we give it from our other class and we've probably got us around this in a try catch or we've got to import URL first now we in surround that with a try catch and I'll just make this look a little bit neater uh, yes a little bit like that now outside of this try catch uh, what we would say is we're going to get the response and we'll just say string response is equal to null and this is what we're going to return we'll set this as a we'll set the value of response later on uh, so we'll go down and then what we want to do is say buffered reader uh, we'll call it reader is equal to a new buffered reader and let's just see if we can import this you see you want to go ahead and import the buffered reader and what's the error we got here? Oh, we just need to complete the line. So what we're going to do is use a new input stream reader, I believe it is. Like so. Let me spell that correctly. And then inside brackets here, we'll just say URL dot open stream. There it is. And close that line off. And now we probably have to import that. And then what's the error we got here? Just run that in a try catch also. And I'll just go ahead and make this look a little bit neater as well. Uh, so underneath this line here, our buffered reader, we're just going to say string s is equal to null. And then we're going to get the actual response uh, and set it to s, and then we'll set response to s and return the response. So what we're going to say is while, uh, we'll put this in double brackets, while s is equal to reader dot read line come out of there and say is not equal to null then s uh, or sorry response is going to be equal to s and then after we've done that we want to come outside of this try catch and just return response like so and that should be good to go so I'll come back and explain this in a little bit so we'll save this file and go into the user chat and I've got a little API here which will just return a joke just for a test so it's a single command so we'll come under here and we'll say else else if cmd dot equals and we'll just say joke then what we want to do is the same as usual we'll say message dot send message to the e dot get chat and instead of just sending a message as a string now what we're going to say is commands dot get api and this is where we'd pass our api and so if we go ahead and copy this link now you can use any api we'll put it there and make sure it's a string because that's what we declared it as and now that should be good to go so if we quickly run that and if I go to Skype, you'll see that I've been testing it out already uh, earlier on today. So we'll just wait for this to come online. Skype logged in. So we'll say type joke. And we should see the API. But you see this one returns it in JSON format. We could 
uh, deserialize it. But just for this, what I'm going to do is stop debugging. Uh, in our commands chat, I'm going to say return response dot split, and then just by taking a look at that, we want to split right there. I'll copy that selection. We probably have to put a backslash on each of the speech marks we want to use inside it. So we'll split there, take the right side, and then we'll split again at, uh, I guess, the full stop. Or we'll just split there, just to be sure. Put that in, backslash there, and another backslash right there. And we'll take the left side of that now. So let's give that another launch. That should just remove that mess for us and just return what we actually want to see. Um, so I'll just wait for um, Skype to log in. Now if I trigger joke again, you should now see we just get the clean message, square root of Chuck Norris's pain, whatever. That's the basic API response. Uh, now if I stop debugging, you see in our uh, where is it? User chat where we actually say commands.get API. And let's say we want to do one for a double command. So you'll have the same. Um, let's say I'll just copy this line for resolve. Um, you see how we got the argument here? So we'd copy that like that. And let's say the API required a parameter. So we'd, it would probably be something like this. Uh, random.php and it will be like uh, param let's say is equal to and then you'll leave the equal to there come outside of here and press plus and type arg like so and then that is how you'd complete a uh, double command and that would work the same way it will just add on what we need from the user onto the end of the link here and then it will just re return the response uh, but I sort of did a little hacky way of uh, cleaning up the code. You'll probably want to do it properly using uh, or deserializing the JSON or decode it. Uh, but that's a very quick way of connecting to APIs and returning them using a little class I made. So that's it for this video. If you do like it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.